Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to look back at the OS module and we are going to look at the walk method. Now, I know this can be overwhelming and we're going to go slow and everything we've done before you've seen. Uh, the only thing we're adding is what it does. But everything, all the code you're about to see we've done every single piece of it just like everything else so if you're new here that's what we do here we add on incrementally from the lesson before sorry if you've not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for me and if this is the type of video you like why don't you give me a thumbs up give me some good feedback so all right walk there we know and we know how to learn even more about it walk so okay, this is a very big method, has a lot of information, so we're gonna expand a little bit more. So all right, it's a generator, and we know what generators do. That's why we've done a lot with generators because we're gonna be doing more and more. Now, path, excuse me, walk is a very interesting one. The example that I'm gonna be using is it took me a minute to do it, but it will literally walk through a directory until it stops finding other directories because it will go and give you the total list of files and go on so the the folder that I've found only has a couple of directories in it subfolders and then none of those have folders inside of them so it's all gonna be very concise so this is on my system it may take you a minute to find one on yours but alright so we it's going to create a tuple of a uh, dir path, dir name, and dir files, file names. And this is the example that the people who wrote the documentation did. And we need to fix some indentation on the copy. So I just literally just copied and left off the last little bit. So, all right. So one of the last times, let me move this over. No, this is a wider than we've done. So the only thing we haven't done here is OS walk. And this is my directory that I'm going to use. And the example, and the reason why I'm using this is I don't want any folders inside folders. This is the, this is the first one I found that only has a list of folders and no folders inside of it so we can all see this on one screen so all right this is what i want you to think how i want you to think about this walk will go through and keep looking inside folders until it stops and then display all of this so what i did actually i'm sorry what the person did was and also here so we have our three bits of information that are yielded by this actually this will be perfect for you to see let's just copy this so x it's okay it's a generator right boom generator object walk now let's turn it into a list So boom. So, all right, so here this is. So here's my first initial pass. Then here are my dir names. My dir names. Then here are my file names. Right here. Mm, done. File names. That is the breakdown, just like the documentation said. So then they took and renamed those variables. So I want you to print out the root, which was the original path, the root path. Then assign that to the new name 
which is the files and we know about join that it adds together and what this does and we also know about get size it finds the size of the file so what this is saying is I want you to add up the total size of the file in that folder all the files in that folder and then the length of how many objects are in there how many files the len and then spit that out so now let's run this so boom so this original my original folder and I'll pull this up so you guys can see it this is the folder that I used this original folder it consumes this many bytes I think that's uh, what one so that is uh, 15.8 gigabytes it has 155 non-directories excuse me 55 non-directories and then so that's all these then here are the directories in it so one two three four five six so it has 60 objects in it 55 of them are files then these go through and name each of them that's the name of that folder that's the name of that folder and these are the sizes and the amount inside of it so this all of this right here so you can toy around with this and play with it is literally inside the documentation I didn't write it you can copy and paste it but what is most important it's going a little long sorry walk goes through until it exhausts until it finds no more folders that's what you're going to see so if you grab this right here this is going to run and run and run and run well why don't I show you just so you can see all right let's use this let's put this inside our string and this has to be a string and so we also need to add extra backspaces because we talked about that on backslash and forward slash right remember let's see did I get them all cool to run this is what I'm talking about that folder has so many so many so many subfolders in it and it's literally gonna run until it gets exhausted so that's why I didn't use that example okay way much longer than I wanted to so okay as always thanks for watching don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important the notification bell and please 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 leave any comments questions have been really getting some really good questions they're very very helpful because that helps me fill in the blanks of where I need to go you guys this is your channel help me help me lead the channel where it needs to go so as always thanks for watching stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys